Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia McNeely, Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois, and the creator of Twin Flame Reconnection. How are you? If you're new, welcome to my channel. And if you're circling around again for what's really going on, thanks for noticing and let's jump right into it. So we are coming into that time of year where, yeah, a lot of people are hitting a wall because they don't know what to do. And I heard it just from a friend the other day. She actually said several things in a row that is summing up the way a lot of people feel. I'm on the edge of suicide or homicide. If I'm not going to do this, I might as well check out. They seem like they want to get rid of me. I feel like I'm being pushed till I give up. They want me to give up. It's just hard to keep going. It's hard to just keep going. So what do some people do with that? They do a form of pain displacement. They will do drugs, drink. They will um, pick fights with people. They will flail around like an elephant in a china shop, breaking things and not even realize that they're breaking things. Now, there is a much better way. And to really sum it up, I have two words, three words for you. New light body, new light body. How much easier can that get? Aha. Most people don't even try. They think that they're just, you know, bumping along here, but there always comes a point where it's time to take action. And this is a really good time. 2024, it could either be blissfully happy once you get started, or it could be the, did I sign up for the trials and tribulation version of my incarnation package? Now, there's good news about your incarnation package, okay? You're in these suits, you're in these lovely carbon-based human bodies. You have a package within you that is intended for you to unpack. It's got all the seeds. It's got your gifts. You're receiving. That's what the downloads usually are. They are some skill sets from other timelines. So when these timelines close down, you're not trapped there. You're not stuck in the past completely. But it's up to you. And it goes much deeper than soul retrieval. These are parts of your essence where you have helped in other cultures, you've created things. Now I have something to say. It's time that people realize, because a lot of twin flames do realize this, but then it flies out of our head when we're having a problem. Okay, we've been everything and done everything. We have been there, done that so many times, it's tedious and boring for a lot of people. They like to be provocative, they like to shake it up, or they are just fed to the teeth with boring things. Now, what makes things exciting is your light body. The other thing people don't account for is reincarnation. You incarnated again. This can actually be your last incarnation into karma. Think about that. Like really think about what do you experience as karma? Karma can be lessons. Karma can be an experience. Initially, it was just an experience. I'm going to experience this or that, right? In duality, this or that. Do I choose this? Do I choose that, right? You get two choices. Two, duality. But as you realize that I've done this again and again and again and again and again, and if you're having too much pain, too much emotional pain, too much repetitiveness, where you start saying things like vague, like there's some invisible thing, please let go of that. Whatever once existed in a timeline that you were connected to, stop that belief because you are now in charge of your growth, you are now in charge of your light body, you are now in charge of your existence, yes. 
Should you choose to exist? Yes, you already exist. You've existed and existed and existed. Suicide can feel like it wells up for people. It really does. I've been through it. And here's how it progressed. I really felt the desolation of it. I felt terrible. I felt absolutely apocalyptic on the inside. You question your existence. You have these existential crises that happen. It happens on the spiritual journey. It's a little different than the dark night of the soul because the dark night of the soul feels like it's surrounding you. And the other way feels like it's welling up from inside when you really are able to discern it. Now what happens is when you feel this, you have to make a decision that you're going to live. And you can say, I don't want to live like this. I don't know how I'm going to live, but I don't want to live like this. And if you're saying that, come join it. Come join us, come join our classes, come join our webinars, have a session. You think I'm just making a sales pitch. I have the answers for you and you're going to run out of time. And there's a reason the medical community does not have these answers. It's for the people who are ascending to be able to teach it and live it and live, eat, breathe it, teach it, heal and do it and be in love. Okay, so if you're having one of these existential crises, what happens then? Well, the next part of the progression for me, because it can feel like you're driving your truck through a tunnel, like just got to get through. I went through a tunnel like that once in Switzerland, 17 miles, and all my mind could think of was there is a huge mountain above my head, and I have claustrophobia or I had it until I started doing this work, all my phobias left me. In fact, that's something I help people with. Help you get rid of your phobia. Because where did that originate? I have those multi-dimensional connections to unhook you from it. So there I was feeling like this, like I just gotta get there, I just gotta get there, I just gotta get there, right? And th there's a weird thing that happened. It kind of flipped. I still was having some suicidal thoughts, but then what happened was it would come in randomly. Like I'm driving, I'm driving over a river and the thought would be like, you know what? You could just leave and just drive right off the bridge. Everything will be okay. It did not feel angsty. It did not feel desolate. It did not feel, it just actually felt like call it a day, just call it a day you'll come back for more. And I was like, no, I don't want to come back for more. Go away thoughts. Okay. But there are things you need to do to actually unhook from that stuff, clear your mind, clear your eyes, clear your memory banks, archive it into the Akashic records and clear the root cause of where it comes from, because it is affecting a lot of people big time. Then I had a thought and I said, my God, if I'm having this, what if my twin flame is having this? Dun, dun, dun. And then I said, you know what? Probably because we're the same. We're same, same. We're same, same. Twin flame. And I had to actually find out. And I did this through my technique that I developed to tune in a special communion, tuning into my twin flame to really feel. And I felt so much compassion. And so I was like, oh my God, you've been so lonely. Let, let me do something for you. I'm going to do it by being who we are. Maybe you don't know. Maybe I'm, you know, maybe I had more suicidal lives. I don't know. Okay. But I'm going to help us. Okay. That's what my work does. It helps you to help us. Okay, not all of humanity. It has to be you first and foremost and you helping your other half, your true other half, because a lot of people, they're getting it wrong. And there's by now so much misinformation out there. Your body cannot go wrong with it. Your light body is going to steer you, either steer you away from something 
or bring you or tote you or float you or somehow levitate you to where you need to go. But only by opening up those seeds in the package in your incarnation package. Now, is there a they? A lot of people worry that they're going to be without guidance. And you're not without guidance. But if your guides are sitting there going like, oh my God, they are still like, do you think your guides want to hang around in a lower dimension with you for real? I mean, that's the same as hanging out in like, I don't know, like hanging around the bus station. You're going to just get a mix and mismatch of all kinds of like garbled messages. No, 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 no. We have to up-level people. 2024 is coming in. 2024 is the year that is slated for some real unification that is going to blow the socks off of some people in a good way, in a good way. And some people are going to find out that 2024, they squandered 2023, and I don't like to see that happen. Let's get started, okay? Let's get started. Always look at the links below for a description of what I have to offer to help people. And as a Blu-ray, let me tell you that this ascension does take several cycles. Each cycle is approximately three to four months, okay? Now, nobody wants you to give up. Please stay the course. I'm here to help you, okay? You're here to help yourself and to help you help your other half while they help you. And it's an inside thing, it's a around you thing, and it's an above you thing. You have several levels of yourself. Could you even tell me about yourself at human level? Okay, what do you like? Let me put it this way. Do you like to feel skin on skin? Wait till you feel the etheric skin on etheric skin, etheric touch, skin on skin. There's so many wonderful, fabulous experiences that happen while you're priming your bodies to be together, to go right down to the cellular level and core of yourself. Your whole core is moving. I just did an event and I was actually uh, explaining something to someone and they had no idea of where the new grounding connections are that you share with your other half. And it was enlightening for me because I said, I really need to get out there and I need to teach more people and I need to teach people to teach people because, sorry Netflix, you're getting a lot of things wrong. This is not about, you know, I like you for warning people, but honest to God, those people are still out there and nobody's stopping them except me, okay? I feel like I want to put the brakes onto people that are criminalizing people for being on their twin flame journey. That's essentially what they've done. So I am not for it. I hope that you show up. I hope that you start doing this work. Let me tell you some other benefits. You're getting connections for your finances. You're getting connections to be budget friendly. You're getting connections for your career or your calling or even your job. If you have a great job and you're kind of wondering, gee, I'm kind of awakened now. Should I even be at a nine to five? Yes, if that's what's for you. And you're going to know because all we have to do is shift the atmosphere. Shh, don't tell any of your coworkers or your boss. We use the force of love on them. The other things are your health, your mental health and well-being, and love, okay? Not the crap that you see on like 90 Day Fiance where you're like, well, I thought I had something there and uh, back to the drawing board. No, the connections are already inside you. This is not a dating service. It's inside. It, you two had like an incarnation package where you packed each other's stuff. It's there for you. So I hope that uh, my video helps you, but what helps even more is join and participate. And I have a program coming up for the solstice, and I have something coming up for January where my trademark Twin Flame Breath gets your body open, okay? And it's also hybrid. It's live. 
If you're in Chicago, come join us, and I hope to see you there. Have a good day. Bye.